I really don't need to use or even unbox this Olympus 17mm f1.2 Pro lens before I form my opinion on it. I don't like it. I don't want to like it because it is big and heavy and expensive. To my annoyance it isn't that big and it isn't that heavy. I can support my bias though because it is expensive. Well, quite expensive. So what did Olympus ever do for us? Well, they gave us the 17mm f1.8 Prime, stop slower, cheaper and smaller. And the 17mm f2.8, even smaller, even cheaper, um, yeah, and even slower. So are there any saving graces to this pro flavour 17mm lens? A focal length that a healthy proportion of photographers would choose over 25mm, where they're restricted to one prime lens for their picture tasks. There are. It has the luxurious, smooth, solid machined out of one piece of metal feel and makes all Olympus's Pro lenses a pleasure to use. It's not retro in design, but it does resemble the Nikon F film lenses of my youth, in that you might trust it to take a bullet for you in a war situation. It looks smart and shiny and is very tactile, something that Panasonic lenses never pull off in quite the same way. There's a function switch on the side, which pleasingly can now be programmed on Panasonic bodies as well as Olympus. There is Olympus's usual pullback manual focus collar, which, while we're used to it now, is just as useful as it ever was, especially so with its hard stop, close focus and infinity. It's weather sealed and there is a neat lens hood supplied and a 62mm filter size, which handily fits the other F1.2 Pro lenses as well as Olympus's 12-40mm to to standard zoom. There are three main reasons for lenses like this to exist. One, the F1.2 aperture enables you to use lower ISO and mitigate micro four thirds noise deficit compared to full frame. Two, to soften background detail via the shallower depth of field obtainable. And three, such lenses showcase the maker's expertise and therefore will be their top performers. Put this lens on the camera and take a few pictures and you immediately see that sharpness is impeccable. It is perfectly practical to use it wide open for everything. Yes, it would make sense to stop it down to f4, where edge sharpness matches the centre for critical subjects, such as city or landscapes. But if it is dusk and you want a landscape shot before it is actually dark, edge sharpness at f1.2 will not let you down. Again, even wide open there is no significant degree of distortion or purple fringing to spoil things. Whether or not that is due to in-camera software corrections I can't say, but being a practical photographer, it is its appearance in my pictures or not that matters to me. Flare can be present under extreme conditions, so it's best to keep very bright direct light sources out of the frame, as with most complex multi-element lenses. The outer focus areas have a pleasantly soft look to them, though you don't buy a 70mm lens in order to get shallow depth of field. It is nice to shoot off the cuff and get a degree of subject isolation though, and the high shutter speeds are obtainable with f1.2 and you don't have to worry about subject movement. Nor do you have to worry about focusing speed, which is instantaneous, or accuracy. We ought to go wow at that last sentence. Try manual focusing at f1.2 with the same speed and accuracy and go ouch. I said at the beginning of this review that I didn't like this lens. You will have gathered that I was mocking my own prejudices when I said that. There are reasons not to like it but the size, weight and price are innate in such a high speed high quality word angle. So to dislike it for those reasons is really just to wish that it didn't exist which isn't legitimate because Olympus themselves provide a perfect alternative and this 17mm f1.8, a personal favourite of mine. It answers every criticism of the f1.2 but it doesn't have the dazzling sharpness, though day to day that doesn't really matter and I don't notice or care. So this Olympus Pro has near flawless performance and isn't unreasonably big, heavy or expensive at street prices. I don't need one but I want one and that is why I don't like it. Thanks for watching.